Hey, what's up? How you doing? Here I have one, let's say, broken Denon double cassette deck DR W660, right? Yeah. Uh, what's wrong with it? Ah, I think it's the belts. It probably needs some new belts. But since I have some other <laughs> projects on my mind I'm just gonna sell this one as is because I don't have time to fix it and it's to tell you the truth not worth it because you can buy those decks working condition probably for 50 bucks on eBay um, anyway it's a standard double auto reverse cassette deck the right deck is recording it has recording knob which is pretty clumsy Ah, cheap plastic, wiggle it, wiggle it, but not uh, level, you cannot balance, it's only a one knob, you see, input level, and there is a bias, okay, I give him that, bias is a nice knob to have it, but nothing special to see here, Dolby BC, HX Pro, you can... Uh, dub it normal high speed, there is a counter, you can choose which deck, A or B, reset. Ah, it's a basic deck. And as I understood, looking some reviews online, it, 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 it has a pretty, ah, not so great sound. This peak meter and display is pretty much burnt. You can see it, maybe if you can. Check it out. Minus five, minus three, minus one. It's all burnt. <laughs> so, which means that this work, deck work for some time. What is this yellowish orange cover? That, that's kind of stupid. I don't like that. And now, thing special. I mean, uh, when I see like they are only user manual, they're only suggesting like a 20 to 18 kilohertz on metal tapes which means it's probably poor poor <laughs> frequency response on normal tapes uh, look if you have this deck you can probably do something like a transfer your cassette tape collection to mp3 files or something like that but to have it like like as, as some kind of deck that you're gonna use for a daily use or something you know like a, I do not recommend it <laughs> even if I didn't um, hear the sound of it I have the plenty other models than on decks in this class and when you see things like this you know uh, 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 that's it's hard to, to believe that you're gonna have a decent sounding deck <laughs> uh, what I want to say, if, even if you buy some better deck 10 years older than this one, you're going to have better results. This was probably something at the end of the cassette deck era, they would cheapen the every possible way. Trust me, I opened the cassette deck and even the, the front plate face is molded in, in, with the bottom plastic. You could, before you could easily like uh, remove the front, I don't know, plate and, and easily replace the belts. But now with this one, oh, it's not going to happen. I mean, you can remove the, this metal thing, but all the buttons and everything will still stay there. It's totally made uh, cheap. Someone decided, let's make a good looking cassette deck but the sound and everything is going to be cheap and the components are cheap because I'm seeing, I'm telling you like a much older Casadex much older with, with, with much brighter display and, and, and sharper display and, 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 and look at this one it can hurt your eye how bright it is, look at this shit <laughs> I mean maybe even on camera it looks good but, but in real life it looks bad so for this model, even if I did 
try to listen to it or whatever, record something on it, I, I would suggest if you want to buy something, skip it. Yeah, I have to be honest. Re it's very rare that I suggesting someone to skip some <laughs> model, but this one is earned that. All right, take care.